2021. <laughs> I can't say I didn't know it was going to be this way at the beginning because I have said, and I stand by my words, the first, especially the first two, but the first three months of every single year is all about clearing out the clutter from the previous year. Every year we're going to have that. And let's face it, 2020 was an absolute mess, right? Right, so we have a lot to clean up. A lot of debris left behind from 2020's wake. So that's what's going on right now. A lot of things are chaos and crazy. But the message from Spirit today is to not let fear control you. That's what they're trying to do to us, right? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been sick all last week with sinus crud. So I may get a little froggy during this video. Don't worry. It's not COVID. It's just sinus. Anyway, they want us to be as fearful as possible, afraid of everything, afraid of even going out, afraid of being with family and friends even, afraid to work, afraid to just live our lives. When we allow fear to guide us, what happens? We stand still. We don't move. We make stupid decisions. Think about when you allowed fear to guide you, what happened? Did it ever end well? No, it didn't. And once you got past all of that fear, you look back and you're like, what was I truly afraid of? Right? Right. <clears throat> Sorry. So do not, under any circumstances, let fear make your decisions for you. Do not. We have a new moon this week, so I want you all thinking about the positive energy that you want to put into your dreams. What kind of positive energy do you want to manifest? What do you want your life to look like and to feel like? Really think about those things and start writing those things down. We have more power than you believe. You have to believe in your own power. Believe in what you can create. Believe in what you can manifest. Yes. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> can you believe that? <clears throat> We have that power. We have that ability. We have to stand in that truth. We stand in each of our own truth. We put out into the world the energy that we want the world to be. How do you want it to act? How do you want it to behave? How do you want the world to be? Do you want the world to carry on in fear? Then don't put fear back out into the universe. Don't do it. Just because they are showing you all of these things, that they only show you what they want you to know. They only show you what they want you to know. And the majority of it is fake news. It's been edited so much. It's been staged. Come on now. Open your mind. And let's work on what we want to manifest our world to look like. Let's become that energy. And let's put that energy out into the world. Do not give in to your fears. Do not listen to everything you see and hear on any of the media platforms. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do yourself a favor and step away from all of that. And then look at your life without looking at any of the news platforms. Don't look at any of that negative media. <clears throat> Give yourself a week or two. And then come back to me and tell me what your life is really like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today... We're only going to look at what we want to manifest, what we want to bring into the world. <clears throat> what kind of energy do we want to send out and have returned to us? I can tell you right now, it has nothing to do with fear and everything to do with love. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, you have the power to create the life that you've been dreaming of. You do. Get outside, touch the earth, clean your space, do your meditations, and remember that this Wyatt, the Wolf, the Raven, and Spirit, we're sending you unconditional love. Mwah.